Hey everyone, in this video, I want to go over a commonly asked question about the CompTIA Network Plus exam. We're gonna have a video playlist that just focuses on these commonly asked questions. So let's dive into it. The first question is whether or not you can actually get a job with a CompTIA Network Plus certification. Uh, this is actually a commonly asked question on the CompTIA website. So I thought I'd make a YouTube video for it here. If SEO tells me anything, if search engine optimization leaves clues, then I try to act on those clues. And I venture to guess if CompT is getting asked that question, there are probably people here on YouTube who might wanna know whether or not the Network Plus exam will help them find a job. Here's the long story short, or as my wife likes to say, the long story. The answer is yes. Um, yes, you can get a job after just getting the Network Plus certification. However, um, it is considered an entry-level certification. It is not going to be the end-all be-all. Um, the reason I teach the certification is number one, because whenever I got the certification, I made a study guide and I've been able to sell that study guide and I've had success meeting that niche and meeting that demand. Um, I haven't made a lot off of it, uh, I think we've got 42 cells of the Network Plus study guide that I created. Um, and I'm planting a tree for every purchase made, right? I just bought five more trees before this video, which was kind of my motivation for making this video. But how did this help me in my career? Um, you know, can I speak from experience and can I say from experience that this certification got me a job? The answer is no, that I cannot. But here's some background and some context on why I decided to get this certification. So whenever I uh, essentially uh, found out about this certification, I was working for the Department of Defense. Now, the Department of Defense has certain requirements for certain positions and certain jobs. One of those requirements is to get Security Plus, but what's very favored and liked tremendously in the DOD is what's called the CompTIA Trifecta, A Plus, Security Plus and uh, Network Plus. Now, Security Plus is going to be your most preferred certification for the DOD for jobs with government. However, Network Plus certifies those basic skills and it certifies a basic understanding of computer networking. So, if it is of appeal to the United States government and if the United States government thinks that it meets a baseline level of knowledge for computer networking, then I think it stands to reason there are a lot of other private sector companies out there who think the same thing. And I can testify to the fact of applying for jobs online and seeing a certification drop down and CompTIA certifications being on that list. So if you're going to go out and get a certification, do know that this is a globally recognized certification that you can get. It's not just recognized here in the U.S., it's recognized across the world, abroad. All right. The other thing about this certification is just like the Cisco CCNA or any other computer networking certification you might get, it verifies your skills in the eyes of an employer. So anything you can put down on your resume is going to help. It's good for three years, which is a pretty long time. And if you get a higher level certification, you may not even have to take the Network Plus exam again to recertify. You may just be able to take that higher level certification through CompTIA and your certification will roll up and continue. So. Some things to bear in mind, um, I think, uh, don't hold me to this, but I think whenever I took the Security Plus exam, it actually renewed my Network Plus exam for me. It pushed out that date uh, that I had to take the Network Plus exam. In my opinion, the Network Plus exam was harder than the Security Plus exam, and I took that exam first, the Network Plus exam. Um, Long story short, will it get you a job? One of the most frequently asked questions, and that's the purpose of this video playlist, to answer those frequently asked questions for the CompTIA Network Plus exam. Will it get you a job? It really just depends. You know, if you're an entry-level candidate and you have the Network Plus certification on your resume, it's going to look a lot better than if you don't. If you don't have a degree in information technology or a degree in computer science, you absolutely pretty much 100% need something like the Network Plus exam or the Cisco CCNA exam on your resume for entry level IT positions, even help desk, even $40,000, $50,000 a year jobs. Um, you pretty much need something like that, right? If you don't have it, you're not going to sell, you're not going to set yourself apart from other candidates. Now, I prefer the Network Plus exam. 
over the CCNA exam at the moment, largely because I'm biased, it's the only one I have <laughs> to be true, and the other reason is because it's more of a generic certification, it's not a vendor neutral, um, it's, it's going to cover the basics and the fundamentals of computer networking across many different vendors and many different technologies, um, rather than having a slant on Cisco based products. Having said that, the Cisco CCNA is a great certification to put on your resume and it's potentially more practical. Um, in my opinion, there seem to be better free resources available for Network Plus and I think it's probably an easier exam to pass than the Cisco CCNA. Uh, but I haven't taken the Cisco CCNA, so full disclosure. Now, will it help you get a job? Circle back on that question and maybe answer that question in a different way. Yes, I think it will help you get a job. You may have to add other certifications to it. You may have to go for Security Plus. You may have to eventually get Cisco CCNA. Um, you may have to explore maybe the CYSA, uh, Cyber Security Analyst Certification, if you're just trying to break into IT. But even if you're trying to go software, being able to certify and show to potential employers that you have a fundamental understanding of computer networking is huge. I don't care if you're in software, I don't care if you're in traditional IT, I don't care if you're help desk, I don't care if you're applying for a hospital position, I don't care if you're applying for a position with a DOD or a startup, whatever have you. Um, if I see that, it shows me you have some level of commitment and you're, you're there, you've got some skin in the game. Um, my last company I was at, whenever I left, um, I tried my best to give them an adequate turnover. And one of the things I mentioned is look for certifications. I completely agree it is just a sheet of paper and this does not necessarily mean that I you know, am you know, essentially in a position where I have all this knowledge in my brain. I could have already forgotten all of this on this sheet of paper. Um, for all the employer knows, but if you don't have any certifications or anything on your resume, there is no way for the hiring manager to know that you have some stake in the game. Um, and so even though I've always hated diplomas, paper, different things like that, certifications, um, it is a way to validate your skills in the market marketplace. It is a way for hiring managers to put your resume over someone else's. Uh, you know, that particular position we had over 200 applicants apply for whenever uh, I departed from the company. So what do you do? You look for certifications. If it's an entry level IT role, I can think of no better certification than the Network Plus certification. I would pick a candidate that had this over a candidate that had this, right? Um, again, I would pick a candidate that had this over a candidate that had this any day of the week, any day of the week. This is a harder certification to get and to me it's more comprehensive. It not only teaches you about network troubleshooting and how to solve real world problems, but it also teaches you about network security. So Network Plus, I do believe it will help you get the job. I would like to close by saying that I have a free, essentially, set of flashcards that I developed. I wrote the software for it. It's in the form of a Chrome extension on the Chrome Web Store. If you head over to the Chrome Web Store to look up extensions in Google, you can actually search Network Plus flashcards. There's over 500 flashcards in that Chrome extension. Check it out, completely free. The other resource that might help is I have taken it upon myself to add all of those flashcards into Quizlet. So Quizlet is a popular study app. You can sort and mark flashcards that you know and flashcards that you still need to study. That way your study deck slowly gets smaller over time. Um, a lot of really helpful things with Quizlet. They have an app, I believe, that you can use on the run um, if maybe a Chrome extension doesn't work for you. Again, completely free. Um, I've made all of those things available because I want to help more people break into tech and it's something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy providing value. So if you like that and you wanna support that, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. Um, and then lastly, I have a study guide on Amazon if you would feel better making a purchase to support in a financial way. Um, that's a way for you to get that study guide, study for your exam, have a little extra to help you practice. Um, you can go through the practice test. There's a flashcard set uh, focus flashcards, just 100 of the what I would consider top flashcards to know for the exam are in that study guide on Amazon. So if you want to cut through the fluff and not study all 757 terms on the network plus exam objectives, but just focus on the 100 that I believe are the most commonly asked and most commonly missed, the study guide on Amazon is the way to go. Um, I've tried to compress everything down and make it as simplified as possible. So instead of going and paying 50 bucks for a book and a study guide that's this big, you can go on Amazon, you can get the simplified guide that's 
you know, it's maybe only, I think, like 100 pages or something. I can't remember what the second edition comes out to, but I know all of that's available, guys. Again, subscribing helps the channel grow, and I can't thank you all enough. Until next time, take care.